hello guys today we'll uh, see how to make a hello world first application uh, for iPhone using interface builder and also programmatically so the thing that we are looking for is a hello world label on the application using interface builder and then next I'll show you how to do it programmatically so let's open a new project file new new project uh, the shortcut is shift command and n be using that from now onwards i will call it hello world next and i will just go to desktop make a new folder call it project and create it here so once i have it i have all the files as if you follow through from my previous tutorials you would know what these are but Mm, if not you can go back to the previous videos and look them up so let's see what we have here so as I mentioned before that the first thing that opens up is this mainwindow.m file the uh, mainwindow.xib file so let's go to mainwindow.xib file open it up we have interface builder we have everything so what I'll do is I'll just drag and drop a label here I'll type hello world here now if you'll see if I move this label around you know it shows guides to place it properly I can place it in the center it shows me the center guide so there you go if I want to move it a little bit more center towards both sides you can do it that way I can click on this go here on the right side and check out the properties I can change the hello my world I can just change the text over there and it will change it here I can increase the size of this so it goes all over and left and I can align it to the center by using the properties on the right side align centers at baseline truncate trail character word wrap we don't need that right now center aligned I can increase the number of lines that this label has what font and what text it uses let me Increase the text to say 24. Uh, let's make it a little bit bigger in height. Have that. What else? Minimum font size. I can change the text color. Can make it any color that I want. Let's keep it that way. Um, this is the highlighted color if it's highlighted shadow color the bunch of different things you can look through them on your own time you can change the background of this also so I'll keep it a light color so we can see our thing. and let's change this color to a little dark okay. it's good and we can make it opaque hidden clear a bunch of different properties here so you can just go through them uh, so once I have that I can run my application just by pressing the run uh, okay let's change to simulator and run it and no issues and it, and there you go your first application hello my world is there now we did this using just drag and drop what if I didn't had this window or anything so this would mean that I had to do it programmatically using one of these files so as I said main window loads first and the one the function that is called first is application did finish launching with options so I can just go here I don't know if how much uh, experience you have with objective C but it's pretty easy to pick up and there are a bunch of different tutorials and I would go through every line of code that I write uh, in detail here mm, so you don't need to learn much of objective C you can pick it up later but I can I will still go uh, I will I will have a video on objective C uh, just the basics and a few things that we need for iPhone development uh, in this in this series so let's go and make a label so if I want to make a label I will just type UI and as you can see the intelligence is pops up and tells you are you looking for UI label I say yes I'm looking for UI label uh, before this let's run this application since I deleted the hello world label from the window it shouldn't show up so it's not there so now we'll go ahead and make the label let me call it hello world label um, 
that is how you make an object of the class UI label we will learn this more in detail when we do the Objective-C class so you know what I'm talking about then so let's go ahead and create every element you have to allocate and initialize memory also there are some initialization functions for every single uh, class that is there uh, again we'll go through all these things in detail when we do the the Objective-C class so now I am giving it a frame I'm saying that in it with frame C direct make frame so let's say 100 100 120 height is 30 so I'm saying that uh, just try to understand what I'm trying to do here don't try to go into the syntax of the programming language so what I'm doing is I'm saying make a label uh, and allocate some memory for it initialize with the frame which is located 100 to the to the right 100 to the left but to the left so x and y coordinates are 100 comma 100 and thus high width of the of this label is 120 and height is 30 i can also say that the x coordinate is 10 and make the make it 300 uh, width and height 30 now i can give a, a label dot background color equal to it says ui color clear color or I can give say red color or let's give a blue color and hello world label dot text if you see if you just press dot and press escape you'll get all the different properties that you set in interface builder on the right so I can just say text equal to at the rate you specify strings by saying at the rate and quotes you can say hello world and we have the text defined we have a label we want to give a text color so you can also give colors you give by saying UI color which is a class again defined by again given by Apple you can say white color color white color so we have our text defined now we need to add this uh, text UI label to the window like how we did drag and drop in interface builder so for that you say self dot window add sub view hello world it takes hello world as a view UI label is a subclass of UI view uh, we'll see what that means a little later but so I'm adding the hello world to window now if I run this application let's see what we see so we will have the window it calls the law uh, application did finish launching with options and it draws this now if you see that this is blue in color the hello world is there but it's in the left if I want to move it to the center so what you would do is say hello world label now what I want to align the text so let's see if there's any function oh there is there you go text alignment also when you when it shows you text alignment it on the left it says what it's expecting it's expecting something called as UI text alignment so I will say UI text alignment so there you go 